Before I begin the real subject of this video, I'd like to address the horribly bad advice I gave in my last video. This is what I said, swallow your toothpaste. This is what I should have said, don't swallow your toothpaste. For someone as old as I am, and I'm older than Crest Toothpaste, by the way, you'd think I'd know better, but for the life of me, I just couldn't imagine a product that is meant to be put in your mouth and brushed about vigorously for two full minutes would also have a warning label that says not to swallow the ingredients. Call me stupid, but that sounds like an edgy conflict of interest, and I've evidently been living on the edge for decades. Either way, thanks to several of you who actually read warning labels, I've now changed my mind about taking, using, and swallowing Crest 3D. Instead, I'll be taking and brushing my teeth with all these little silicone packets I've been saving over the years from the packing boxes of electronics I've purchased, as well as this small bottle of Clorox bleach that I'll use as a whitening agent. No, Kevin, you can't say that. You can't say that. You can't say that. Don't, don't, forget it, forget it, forget I said that. I've replaced my poisonous Crest 3D with a new product suggested by a few of you viewers. It's called Unpaste Zero Waste Toothpaste Tablets, and it's from WellEarthGoods.com. I'll put a link in the description. It promises not to create a lot of foaming action, which was my goal to begin with. It's advertised as gluten-free, but it also says, do not swallow. Damn. Really looking forward to having a mini breakfast. At any rate, it's only $12.95 for a two-month supply, and for you Graham Winnies like myself, it'll weigh less than a travel-sized tube of any other poisonous toothpaste on the market. Now that I've gotten that over with, the real purpose of this video was to show how I'm showering all of my clothing in poison before I leave the trail. Who knew this was such a toxic hobby? Permethrin. If you're worried about ticks and mosquitoes, and many of you will be, the preferred method of combating them is to treat your clothing with an insect repellent. The most popular method on the trail appears to be permethrin. One can says it'll treat up to four outfits. An outfit is described as one pair of pants, one shirt, and one pair of socks. You're advised not to treat your underwear. Don't let it come into contact with your skin. Don't treat the clothing while you're wearing it. Don't use near a water source, it's toxic to fish. Don't use on or near your pets, it will kill your cat. Don't use it near an open flame. Use it outdoors, but not on a windy day. And a bunch of other seemingly common sense related warnings like don't saute your portobello mushrooms in it and don't brush your teeth with it and then swallow. It's good for approximately six weeks or six washings, whichever comes first. What they don't tell you is a good rainstorm might constitute a washing, so six days in the rain may prematurely weaken its effectiveness. But nonetheless, if you're worried about lime carrying ticks on the trail, this is the DIY that might save you. There's also a company called Insect Shield, and you can send your clothing to them and they'll treat it for you. I'll post the link in the description. A lot of hikers have reported good results from them as well. Today, I'm treating my own clothing. I laid out my ground cloth, the Tyvek I found in a trash heap at a construction site, and cut it to the footprint size of my tent. I laid as much of my clothing on it as I could fit and sprayed it in a sweeping motion as instructed until the clothing appeared slightly wet. Then I turned it all over and repeated the process. Then I hung the clothing up on the garage door to let it dry in the open air. After two to four hours, I checked to make sure the clothing was dry and ready to pack. One less thing to worry about. I'm told that many hikers repeat this process about every four to six weeks while on the trail when taking a zero day. I also understand that Virginia is the first real hot spot for lime-borne ticks, and the trail remains so all the way to Maine, so don't let your guard down. I carry a tick remover. I got this at Walmart. It weighs nothing, and I keep it attached to the outside of my pack. A year and a half ago on the Florida trail with two friends, one of them discovered two ticks had latched onto him, one on the upper arm and the other on his side. My tick remover worked as advertised, and fortunately the ticks were not lime carrying. Ticks are very aggressive, and if you're sitting on the ground resting or eating a snack, they will charge you like a steak dinner. Most will latch onto your clothing if you brush by them along the grassy edge of the trail. If your clothing has been treated, however, they quickly drop off. So... From poisonous toothpaste to poisonous clothing, I think I've covered enough to kill a few bugs. I hope you found something useful here. I'm about a week from hitting the trail myself, and honestly, I can't wait. Happy trails, and read your warning labels.